I want to taste you. And I don't mean where you lie back and invite me into your innocence. Because true hunger is more intricate than my hunger for truth is prominent. Dominant. No, this hunger is bottomless. Is bellies emptied, sent to bed, ribs stretching, skin heavy, heaving, emaciation. Fourth world starvation. I want to taste you. Devour your kinetic constellation, consume all your flesh to digest the molecular components that form your existence. Allow me to thrive on those thighs, stronger than the walls you constructed to keep all the right people out. Let me feast on your genetic history, get drunk off your own personal story, feed me your minced memories. I'll cradle them between forgiveness and forever. Put them on display on the walls of my chest cave. Release all the pain of perpetual heartbreak and let me carry the weight of lies left on love notes, of skin callous from callous treatment of your devotion. Let me bite beauty into your birthmarks, gnaw at your baseless insecurities to eradicate each untruth that blinded you into believing that you are not a breath short of perfection. Because the way the Sunday morning sun seeps in and kisses your curves after night long longing and invades the space between the nape of your neck and the tips of my fingertips is nothing short of perfection. I want to invest my minutes singing sonnets into your skin worn thick, but intimacy has no need for protection. So don't be scared to let me adore you. Let my admiration adorn you because your smile might be the most exquisite work of art I have ever seen. So I told you endlessly to make sure it's on exhibition and definitely shit. I buy stock in you because no matter what highs or lows we hit, I have complete and utter confidence in this moment. This union is a lifelong investment. So address your hesitations and let love live. Let me lick love in your crevices. Linger like a water ring on the back of your mind. Be that word on the tip of your tongue. Let me use the tip of my tongue to taste you, hold you, tighter than you cling on to happily ever afters. And we can live in the now and birth a new chapter where the pages aren't singed and tear ridden and your cries are drowned in laughter. Your body's quiver is evidence that no one's ever touched you like this. Desired you without expectation, worshiped you without hesitation. This right here is a 100% consequence-free love proclamation and I hand it over to you because you are the best kind of beautiful. You forced your insecurities on me like a jacket you no longer wanted. Hand-tailored, cut to fit your body to a T to coincide with your many years of self-loathing, but instead, you pushed it on me, knowing there was room left in my desecrated psyche. Before you, I stepped stole my way through a trailblaze with lovers who ate away at any notion I had that I was worth saving. Too skinny, too fat, too slutty. So funny how you knew every page of my history then reawakened its misery. Called me names on the rare occasions when I actually felt pretty. Persisted that I insisted on dressing my body to gain the attention of others because your fragile ego couldn't withstand having a more attractive lover. You prayed to the altar between my thighs in private that condemned my curves when the light hit. It's hard to respect you when you dress like that. Ashamed of the way my favorite gray dress hugged my frame. You're worse than the cats that stays the girls in skirts ask for. 
Paranoia's puppet, paralyzed by perpetual fear that I'd find another who'd sweep me off my feet. You wasted your days trying to keep me caged instead of being a woman and stepping up your game. It's a shame I ever let someone call me out my name. It's a shame I ever thought I had to be this picture-perfect projection of work perfection to gain your affection because you spent more time liking Sephora made selfies than investing in our connection. Left me constantly buying for your affection. In bed, sleeping back to back, just praying for your devotion had me thinking I was broken. Constantly ask me for things I thought I'd been giving you all along, but nothing I did could fill your heart's void. So I started to think, maybe I'm doing this whole love shit wrong. Maybe I'm too callous to care. Maybe I'm incapable of love. And it took years of self-ridicule to realize that's not true. I'm extremely capable of love. I just didn't love you. I traveled cross country, sitting on canyon tops, talking to God, asking for the strength to release, pleading to be free, accepted my imperfections and made a promise to myself I would never live another day of my life in fear it was time to heal. Ensuring her I was ready for truth, I looked up, let the sun soak up my tears and I let go of you, let go of lies told through beer-stained teeth. Let go of, maybe if I look more like that girl, she'd be happy. Let go of believing I only deserved half of someone's heart. Resentment descended, and I found myself drunk with gratitude, and I feel compelled to thank you. Thank you for your darkness. It led me to my light. Thank you for forcing me to turn to myself for true love so I won't ever need to seek validation for my future wife. Thank you for making it impossible for me to give 100% of myself to you. The best of me is reserved for a queen. And I thank the universe for the proof. Thanks for checking out Power Street Theater. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe somewhere around here. I'm not sure where the button is, but where it says subscribe, that's where you gotta click.